So I'm here in my shed, which is where um, I'm going to have a section of this shed where I'm going to be working out. I have a few Olympic bars over here I've been using as best I can. I need a, uh, I need a bench. I needed a bench, so I decided to pick up a um, fairly expensive bench, roughly 300 some odd dollars, uh, but it's, it's top notch. I didn't want something chintzy. Um, for uh, anything in this small gym I'm developing here. Um, this is an STS flat to incline bench made by York Barbell. Um, the model number is 55027. Uh, color is silver, but the, the cushions are black. At least I hope they are. Uh, I think just the metal is silver. Um, so I'm going to start unboxing it now and hopefully set it up. Here. Some directions. Actually a parts list. Shows how things are put together. Well, instead of you watching me uh, take apart this uh, box, I just pretty much opened it up. Um, there's a packing list. There's uh, a box here which is probably the actual hardware to assemble it. Um, and there's a bigger box here which is probably the black foam padded bench uh, in here, which we'll find out in a moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically take everything out and put it on the ground. As you can see, I just wanted to show that there's plenty of packing material in here, so it's packed fairly well. I don't see any damage yet. It's also in bubble wrap, all the metal parts. Um, and there's some bolts here, I just noticed. So I'll put those aside. But let me get this uh, taken apart. I'll lay it on the ground and I'll show you all the parts that are in the actual um, unit. Okay, so I took um, a few things out of the boxes. Uh, these two boxes I showed you earlier are the actual bench itself, the padded. Uh, this is the bottom part and that's the, the rest of it. Um, and those are the boxes, there's nothing else. So I just took all the bubble wrap off and um, you have the main structure here that is basically the, the main part of the bench. Um, you have a front piece here that says York on it and that's going to be, that's going to actually sit, it's going to be sit on that like that, like so. And you're going to use some bolts we have over there to put in. And this, the back piece with the wheels, is going to go under here with the bolts. And you can see how they will fit in. So that you can actually lift it up and move it around the room as you would in a gym. Um, that you would go to and this is very solidly built um, silver refers to the silver color um, obviously the bench part the cloth part which is really nice is uh, you know black so and the same down here so I'm just going to go according to the assembly instructions and put it together piece by piece and it's really not a lot that has to be done here I think I'm just going to have to use a socket set that I have up here I have a bunch of tools so I don't have I don't lack for tools as I do woodworking as you can see in my shed as well so um, I'm going to start with putting together put the front foot piece and the back foot piece on with the bolts. Here's a quick look at the hardware. Um, this front piece 
and the back piece are going to be using these half half inch um, four half inch bolts uh, as well as the half inch washers so there's four one one on the other side and two on the back as well as you can see so I'm just going to um, grab my socket set and uh, install these four bolts and washers so here are the half inch bolts and washers that I'm now going to use to um, assemble the front foot and the back foot so for installing the front base frame and the back base frame which is what they call it in the packing list um, I used a three-quarter inch socket um, seemed to fit perfectly I already tightened it here um, except do the same thing to all four bolts make sure you put this uh, the washer underneath back ones this is where the wheels are so you can move around the, the bench just pretty much Let's tighten them by hand first. It's a threaded uh, hole it's going into, so that's why you can use a socket set and nothing underneath. That's tight. This one here. Tighten this one down best I can with my hands. Then use the socket set. Just get it snug. You can always tighten them a little more later. So the basic frame to the um, bench is done. So you can put it, you can slide it. I like the uh, the York insignia down the bottom. It looks kind of slick. Now it looks like all I got to do is just attach the pads, and uh, I'm pretty much good to go. So, there were bolts right here, and some washers right down here, and here they are. This is what I'm going to be using. Notice I already attached the washers um, to the bolts, and uh, they're going to be going right, this is the back of the seat pad frame, but it's going to go up through the frame. Um, and just screw in uh, using a socket set as well. So I'll show you how to do that. You can see there's uh, a hole in the in the actual seat. You have to just line that up with the frame, and uh, just screw it up through the frame. I'm going to get a socket to fit this as well. But this is going to go right up in that way, and it's the same thing. It's going to do the exact same thing for the back pad as well. So I think this is the only thing that needs to be done to put this together. Everything else was put together by the manufacturer, so that's in fine until they get the socket set. <clears throat> do the same thing on the other side. Same thing on the other side, and uh, it should be golden as well. Let me get the other bolt. So that's one side of the seat pad frame, and that's the other side with the bolt in. So I'm just going to get a socket that matches that and just tighten it up. So for these um, bolts, it uh, looks like a half inch should work fine. I'll get underneath here and uh, sure I'm tightening. Just want to get them snug. You can always retighten them if you have to while you, you know, have, uh, after you've had it set up for a while. That seems fine. You go to the other side as well. Just 
do this exact same thing to the back pad as well, which I'll do in a moment. Uh, that's nice and snug. Snug this one up a little bit more. Nice. Okay. So that pad, the front pad is on fine. So now I'm going to grab the uh, back pad, which is you know, covered with some plastic. <laughs> Take that out. Back of the back pad has just got four holes. Four holes. Two on the bottom, two on the top. It's just going to go into the frame right there and right there. So once I put this back pad on, I'm pretty much going to be done. So uh, let me put the uh, back pad on now. One thing to remember with the back pad is um, there's a tapered section right here that will go on the bottom part, adjacent to this other tapered section on the bottom on the seat uh, pad as well. So I'm going to install the bolts on the back of this uh, back pad now. Then we should be in business. It's really shaping up. Look at this thing. It's a beast. Let's get the bottom, final bottom one here. So it's started assembling this about 3.30 in the afternoon. Let's see what time it is now. It is 4.06. So we're talking, you know, 35 minutes. Um, if I didn't have to film, if I didn't film this for the YouTube video, it would have been quicker. I mean, you're talking about just putting in 10 bolts. And if you've ever assembled anything, um, this is one of the easiest assemblies I've had to go through. Um, there is one other piece. This piece here for adjusting the, uh, the bottom, uh, for adjusting the bottom part of the seat. Uh, I think it just screws in. screws in yeah it just actually you just screw the whole piece in and then it's just a pin and just get just get a wrench to tighten that but this just opens up so if you wanted to lift it up like that it'll just fit right into the pin there Four different settings you could use. So this is for like doing a bench, uh, incline bench, which is cool. Um, just gotta remember to tighten that. I'll do that right now. So this is the completed bench. Rolls nice, easy to move around. If you want to get it out of the way, you just move it like this. So it's, uh, it's going to be a great addition to my new workout room. Seems nice and solid. Um, tomorrow I can start doing, or today even, I can start doing flies. Um, I have some dumbbells over there. But it's very solidly made. Um, the cushion is really soft. It's wide enough too, which I like. Be great for doing flies. Um, if you want to do incline flies, you just pull it up like this. And you can just do incline flies. If you want to have it higher, you can do the same flies. So I'm looking forward to getting my cage um, in here. 
I have one kind of scoped out that'll go up to about here, about 71 inches. And that way I can do safe benches and safe squats. So I'm all excited. This took roughly a half an hour to put together after I got it out of the box and took everything uh, out of the bubble wrap. But uh, really high quality bench. I like the fact that most of it was assembled. All I did was had to, had to uh, I had to screw in 10 bolts and uh, all I needed was a three quarter inch socket right here and a half inch socket and I was able to screw in the one bolt here, one bolt here for the front kind of foot, same size bolt back here and back here for the back foot and then that was using the three quarter inch socket and for the for the, for the seat pads um, there's uh, one bolt that goes up through the frame on either side so that's two and then there's one bolt that goes on either side in the bottom of the back piece and then one bolt on either side in the top of the back seat so back piece back pad so 10 bolts half an hour pretty easy I mean everything else was assembled uh, ahead of time so I think it's a great investment can't wait to use it <laughs>